Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Before the video starts, go down to the comments section right now, and if you guys want a 3D model printed from Thingiverse or whatever, put it down in the description box below. If I like it or it gets a lot of comments, a lot of views, a lot of likes, whatever, I will print it in the next episode. So put it down below and uh, back to the intro. Hey there guys, what is up? Welcome back. My name is Kyle and welcome to a new series called Let's Print. It's a new series where I'm going to be taking a look at some cool 3D models that are available publicly online for you guys to take a look at and print yourselves after I print, tell you guys some tips, maybe some tricks on how to print them the best and just show you what the model looks like. And majority of these models are going to be things that can be used around the house that are useful, that help you do something faster or just are really, really, really cool. Um, so let's get ahead and get started with today. Now, if you guys don't know, I obviously have a lot of cables. I have like an iPhone, I have an Apple Watch, I have laptops, I have computers, I have cameras. I have got a lot of stuff. And that means I've got a lot of cables to power said stuff. I mean, I've got micro USB, mini USB, USB type C, lightning, um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks, propri proprietary stuff, you name it, I've got it all. So if you're like me, you've got this tangled mess of cables just lying around everywhere. And that's not cool. So today we're gonna be printing this guy. It is a cable management system. It's really, really cool. Um, basically it's just made of a bunch of hexagons on top of each other. Put this on your desk, holds all your cables nicely together. You guys can see which ones are which and um, you can go and just pick out whatever one you need for that time, especially if you don't need them that often. I've got plenty of micro USB cables, like I don't need a long one, or I need a short one, whatever. All in here, lots of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and uh, time lapse. <laughs> Alright guys, now here we are with the final 3D printed product and uh, this is it. It looks really, really nice. I like the way that it turned out. It looks really, really cool. You guys can see here I didn't print with a fine layer height so you guys can see the layers but that's not a huge, huge deal. And uh, you guys can see here that there's actually a little bit of space in between each hexagon. And that is because um, towards the end of the print, my printer decided that it was going to screw up and basically it got off whack a little bit. So it started printing layers like in the middle of it. So it was a little bit offset. And so I just stopped it as soon as I saw that and ripped off the top three layers or whatever it was that it had printed offset it and just left it how it is. Not worth it to print it again when it was like 95% done anyway. But you guys can see here, this is the final product. Looks really, really nice. It's actually really, really strong, really, really steady. And you end up getting a total of 10 little hexagons to put all of your stuff into. Really, really awesome. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got a few cables here, and these are just some cables that I've got laying around the uh, the area here. Micro USB cable. What you do is you just take them and fold them into that little thing right there, and go ahead and uh, stick them in there. Fits in very, very nicely. Same thing is gonna go with this cable, although this cable is a little bit longer so it is a bit fatter when I do roll it up and it takes a little bit more effort to get it in there. Um, although it does eventually fit in very nicely and snugly. And we just keep on doing the same thing. I've got a pair of headphones here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stuff them in like that. Cool. I've got a little tiny micro USB here. This is a short, short one. Put that in there like that. I've got another uh, lightning cable and basically what I'm doing guys is I'm just taking them I guess I'm just taking them and wrapping them around my hand like this. And 
and you get a nice thing like that and you just fold them up and stick them in wherever you can fit them into your little thing pretty darn cool if you ask me and then it just sits on your desk like that and all your stuff is available whenever you need it awesome now guys this was printed using a hatchbox black pla filament pretty awesome stuff it's really really cheap check it out uh, link is in the description box below to amazon it's like 20 bucks for a kilogram roll which is awesome and then free shipping if you got prime or you buy another thing with it at the same time really really cheap awesome stuff and it's really really strong really really sturdy and prints out very very nicely so recommend checking it out all right guys so let's take a look at some tips and tricks that i have when printing this model as you guys can see here all my cords are nicely packed tight inside of them and that's the key word tight this thing is really extremely small and a lot of my cables i kind of have to shove in there or i have to put them somewhere else because they're too long and there's too much cable that it doesn't fit in there so if you're going to print this out i would suggest that you make it a little bit bigger i think that 150 percent of the original size of the model will work out perfectly and all your cables will fit into there very very nicely now you can get away with this if that's all your printer can handle if you can you know not print any larger than this this will work for your size but if your printer can handle a little bit more size or volume i think it's definitely worth it to try and go for a little bit bigger of a build even in 120 percent larger size would help out a little bit with getting cables in a bit easier and not having so much stuff sticking out of them like mine do although admittedly it's not a big enough deal that i really want to print another one it's just something i would have wished i knew before i printed this one so i could have gone ahead and done so another tip and trick do not spend a lot of time making this thing high quality or a really fine layer height uh, my printer can go up to 0 0.05 millimeters layer height but that's really honestly not necessary it's really just a bunch of hexagons stacked on top of each other and you're just going to be putting stuff inside of them it works perfectly fine with a 1.1 uh, 1 millimeter layer height even 0.2 millimeter layer height would work just perfectly fine um, yeah i mean i can't really think of too much more to say about that besides those two things um don't print high resolution or whatever high speed will be perfectly fine um but uh yeah all right guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like the series definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already it really helps with the channel also remember to please put any comments in the description box below or comments down below below the description box or whatever you want to say letting me know what you guys want to see next on let's print um, any files you find online shoot them over if you guys have any files you made yourself shoot them over to me i'll print them out show them on the channel um, for sure and definitely make sure there's a download link because i do want to make sure that everyone has got it just you know put the name of it on thingiverse or whatever because i know you can't put links but uh yeah hope you guys like the uh show and uh, i'll see you guys later bye